Hey, what's up, dudes? It's the P2 Gamer here, and um, what I'm gonna do is make a video series about um, I'm trying to like make my um a few weeks ago I tried I'm um, starting to make an idea about making like a portableized Wii that looks like a laptop sort of thing. So um, this is sort of like a basics, what you'll need, and the proof that it works. But I'm but this is like a part one the series. So what you're gonna need is like this three by five monitor I found on eBay or Amazon for like seventeen to twenty dollars. Really cheap. And it should look like this. It's I know you may see the red ones like very really weird looking, but um believe me, this is part of the plan. This will be the monitor. Um I'll put it right there. You're also gonna need obviously a Wii, so this is my Mario um this is like the uh, something something is Mario anniversary Wii special thing I think I don't, I don't really know. And you're gonna need all the cables that come with your Wii. So these are all the cables. I'm just gonna put them all over here along with my sensor bar. And this is something you're gonna have to either find at your, around your house or buy it on eBay. Because this was around my house. Usually that you can find them in houses. You're gonna need like a charger. Find a charger that looks like that has an extension port for it like this, looking like. And make sure it's 12 volt. I'm saying 12 volt. And yeah, it's gonna need to be 12 volt. So this is what mine looks like. I found it out of like uh, my lamp charger, like my LED lamp charger. So that's, that's, this is what this is, right there, obviously, and a Wii remote, it's mine, this came with the Wii, so, what you're going to need to do, let me take off my jacket, so, take your cords, plug them into the Wii, Then plug the video cable, which is the yellow one, and optional. You can also plug in the white one. Not gonna make a difference into their desired parts. Leave the white, red one alone. And nope, this can't play audio. So you're gonna have to find. I'm gonna try to find like an external speaker. I could try to put this into. I'm not sure. Um, we're gonna put all the power stuff in. And my sensor bar, motion sensor, I think, for the Wii. Alright. Attach your charger. This part. Alright, let me see. To the red cable of the monitor. Just like that. Can see it? Yeah. Plug it in. Along with oh where'd it go? But, oh that, that was risky. Along with the other power cable for the Wii. Whoops. Plug it in. This is more like a test to see if everything works. What I like to do is just put it up there, cause you're not really playing on a TV, so make it feel like you're playing on a TV. After everything's set up, this power the power should come up. So I'm gonna move it out a little bit the camera, or I could just let it. Whoa! Yeah, perfect. Power it on. And you see, it turns on. It actually turns on. Something less than $20. I expected it to do worse. So as you can see, it's a messy setup. But, oops. It's a very messy setup. Very hard. My camera can't really focus on this, but it's the Wii, all right. It's, the actu it's a real, actual Wii. 
playing on a crappy car monitor for a this, this monitor wasn't meant for like gaming it was more meant it was actually built for car camera things I'll show you the back Ooh, very messy setup though as you can see that's all the cords all right there see all my video cables and audio cables all this isn't a fake this is actually real you're actually seeing real stuff happening oops my camera stand right so yeah that's basically what it is Um, there's not much to sell in here because camera quality is really bad, so sorry for that, but actually it's much better right now. Yeah, better. So I'm controlling my Wii, and sensor bar is fully working, as you can see. Play some Legend of Zelda. As you can see, sound doesn't come up, and it the screen occasionally flickers. But it actually works. Surprising. Alright, so I've been playing for a while. So I just died. Um, so I have everything. So you can see that I'm actually controlling that the, the screen and the uh, gameplay is um decent. It's just that occasionally for some games the game f the screen flickers. Uh, quite a lot actually. Um, if you're doing some games with like, uh, I can't. Like, there are some games that um flicker all the time, such as like Wii Sports Boxing. If you play boxing with the Wii Sports thing, yeah, it's gonna flicker a lot. So I I recommend just playing golf or tennis. Tennis is um. It's pretty fine. So that's some gameplay of Legend of Zelda. Some proof that, yeah, if you click the home button, that's what happens. And whenever you click the start button. So, yeah, that's fully working. I'm, like I said earlier in the video, I'm gonna try to think about, I'm thinking about finding an audio thing because I really like um the audio for some reason. And Poke Park 2, I have it in there. Everything is actually working fine, surprisingly. Graphics are good. If you if you don't like, if you want, I'd recommend the a larger screen than this. I just wanted to test it out on three by five, but three by five is good. Just on three by five screen length length. It's just that the text for um games, like when I was playing Skylanders, uh, Swap Force. It's really, really bad. Like, you can barely read what it says. Unless you can decode. Unless you could, re unless you could read Morse code. Yeah, it's that bad. So, I'd recommend getting the 4.3, I believe. Or at least the 5-inch screen. But 3x5 actually works pretty fine. Pre um, good for, like, a pretty cheap screen. Um, you could also, on this screen... Change the brightness, so you just gotta click the. You can barely see it, but center button. Then click either the up or down. You can see the random Chinese text. And the brightness comes up. I'm gonna. I like leaving it at like 70, cause it's decent enough. And I guess it's good for recording the videos. So I'm just gonna end the video here, and um, I'll make a episode, not like really, more like part two, for this. Because, yeah, I'm thinking about getting a case for this and putting it all in, impaling all in the case. So, yeah, it's going to be, like, sort of looking like that. But then that's going to be, like, a while because I got other videos to make, like Legend of Zelda. Oh, by the way, I got Majora's Mask. So it actually works. But I don't have, like, the classic controller. And I'll see you guys next time on episode 2 where I get, like, a screen, like, a, like, case basically 
and maybe even a speaker. So more updates on this, and I'll see you next time.